meter as you all know is the use of regular rhythm in poetry and rhythm is created by a series of stressed and unstressed syllables now poetry uses different types of speech depending on how these syllables are arranged in a line now they can be uh, disyllabic feet and trisyllabic feet. Disyllabic means a foot that consists of two syllables and trisyllabic means a foot that consists of three syllables. Now in this video we are going to focus on the trisyllabic metrical feet such as amphibrach and amphimazer. But before that just have a look at the two syllabic metrical feet such as I am, chalky, spondy and pyrrhic. Now I am is a metrical foot in which an unstressed syllable is followed by a stressed syllable and chalky is just the reverse of I am with a stressed syllable followed by an unstressed syllable. Now I am and uh, chalky are the only metrical feet that are usually uh, used consistently throughout the poem. Now let's have a look at the uh, metrical uh, feet spondy and pyrrhic. Now spondy is a two consecutive stress syllables. So a foot that consists of two consecutive stress syllables is a spondy and the two consecutive unstressed syllables uh, form a pyrrhic. Now spondy and pyrrhic are rarely used as an overall meter in a poem. So it's not uh, possible to create a poem with an overall stress syllable or an overall unstressed syllable. So you don't find a poem with a uh, spondaic meter or a pyrrhic meter throughout. Now let's have a look at the trisyllabic metrical feet. We have anabus, dactyle, amphibrach and amphimaza. So first we are going to talk about the metrical foot that consists of three syllables that is anapus in which two unstressed syllables are followed by a stressed syllable. So anapus means two unaccented syllables are followed by an accented syllable. Next is dactyl which is reversed anapus or it is just the opposite of anapus. So here we have accented syllables or strong syllables followed by unaccented or weak syllable. Now moving on to amphibrachic foot. So here we have a strong syllable in between two weak syllables. So an accented syllable is surrounded by unaccented syllables. So that makes it amphibrachic. And here we have amphibrachic feet, a line with amphibrachic feet. And it goes like this. How dear to my heart are the scenes of my childhood. Now, as I told you, amphibrachic foot means unstressed syllable followed by a stressed syllable followed by an unstressed syllable. So it's a three syllable metrical foot with unstressed, stressed, unstressed uh, pattern. So when you're reading this line, it goes like this. How dear to my heart are the scenes of my childhood. Again, how dear to my heart are the scenes of my childhood. So this is how um, this line is amphibrachic. So here we have four such patterns repeated. So four amphibrachic feet are there in this line and that makes it amphibrachic tetrameter since uh, there are four feet we can call it as tetrameter and uh, next example is the truth is distorted the landlord distorted the truth is distorted the landlord distorted so again the truth is distorted the landlord distorted so this is how it is amphibrachic demeter because only two um, amphibrachic foot, uh, amphibrachic feet are there. So we can call it as amphibrachic demeter. And another example, oh, didn't you know I'd been ruined, said she. Oh, didn't you know I'd been ruined, said she. Now here in this line, we have an I am towards the end. And the first three, uh, feet are amphibrach. Now when we talk about amphibrachic foot, now this is a less commonly used in English poetry. So we can find this uh, metrical uh, foot in uh, Latin and Greek poetry, but it's uh, not commonly used in English poetry. But it's uh, sometimes used in ballads and limericks. 
now since the emphasis is given um, in in the middle syllable that means as i told you amphibrach means unstressed stressed unstressed pattern and the stress or emphasis is given in the uh, to the middle syllable and that makes it a bit bouncy and that makes it an interesting and a musical rhythm as well so that's all about amphibrachic foot now over to amphimaser which is just the opposite of amphibrach so amphimaser means a three syllable uh, foot that consists of um unstressed syllable between two stressed syllables so, un so unstressed or weak syllable is uh, located in between two stressed syllables and here we have the example that is sound flute now it's mute birds delight day and night another example little boy full of joy little girl sweet and small so these are the examples of amphimaser so amphibrach and amphimasers are uh, the trisyllabic metrical uh, uh, feet and uh, they are just the opposite of each other so that's all about amphimaser and amphibrach see you soon